Well, after the signing, the celebrating, President Joe Biden marking today, Juneteenth, the federal holiday. This is the day America marks the end of slavery. And Heritage Foundation President Casey James says it's a day that all Americans can come together. Kay, I couldn't think of anyone better to have this conversation with your thoughts. <laughs> Well, good morning and happy Juneteenth to you. What freedom-loving American would not want to celebrate the emancipation of an enslaved population? I think that it is a fabulous day to focus on the goodness that is America. I agree with you. It just I just can't believe it just within minutes of this happening how, you know, uh, it just became politicized and you hear people saying the next step is to change the flag. And, uh, you know, what is it about people, particularly extraordinarily successful people uh, in this country, that they don't understand our growth, our maturation, our progress is what makes us the greatest country in the world? And why do they want to go back and relitigate uh, yesteryear in history? You can't rewrite it. You can learn from it. But I'm just so proud to be an American, particularly on today. You know, I am as well. And I think it's a teachable moment for all of America, but particularly for our youth. Those who are discouraged by what they see going on in the streets and the divisions in our country, we can come together today and celebrate the fact that even when there's something that is horribly wrong in this country, our founders gave us the means and mechanisms by which to correct it. And so um, we today come together and celebrate the fact that even though it was an egregious era, even though it was a horrible situation, look at what we did as a country. Look at how we can come together, black and white Americans today, and celebrate the fact that we corrected an egregious wrong and celebrate freedom. We would celebrate freedom anywhere that we saw it taking place around the world. Why not celebrate it right here in our own country? What do you make of the current climate? Uh, again, it, it, it's, there are powerful forces, in my mind, that only can stay powerful if we stay divided. And it seems like they always have a way of, you know, making the headlines, uh, elevating certain people to become spokespersons or people. Uh, and, and that's the, what's holding, I think those, that entity, that, the, those folks are what's holding us back from becoming an even greater nation. But, you know, they truly are, and uh, I find it so offensive. Uh, those of us who love this country and love each other, uh, I think we can push them aside by demonstrating to them what it looks like when freedom-loving people, be they black, white, purple, or green, come together to celebrate the goodness of this country. Where do you see us going uh, from here? Uh, you know, again... Every time we get something like this, it's, uh, you know, you start to hear folks immediately just, you know, attack, 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 instead of celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. You think the framework you described earlier by, by the framers of the Constitution uh, will continue to drive us even through those particular hurdles? I am the quintessential optimist, and I believe in the goodness of America, but particularly the goodness of the American people. And I don't think that those forces that seek to divide us for their own purposes, uh, be they personal or political or for grabs of power, are going to prevail. We just won't let them. Casey James, always an honor and a privilege. And uh I would invite anyone to look at your life story and what you've contributed to society mm -hmm. one day because you are amazing. So thanks for spending this uh, time with us. Absolutely. Now go celebrate Fathers and Juneteenth. <laughs> we will. Thank you.